Hey everybody, welcome to Backroads Angling. The theme of today's video is trying to do more with less in the sport of ice fishing. It can be a really expensive sport. A lot of people think you gotta go to a big fancy lake to catch fish, but the cool thing is you can pretty much catch, ice, catch fish anywhere. A lot of these urban lakes, urban ponds, a lot of them have fish in them. Today I'm gonna be using a cheap rod from Amazon that I just bought. I think it was about $28. It's about the cheapest rod reel combo I could find. I'm gonna be putting it to the test, seeing what I think about it. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to put some fish on the ice in this tiny little urban pond. There's a siren coming by, so I'm gonna quit. But uh, let's get started. I'll drill, I'm gonna pop some holes and get going. Oh yeah, that's like at least 10 inches. A little after 7 a.m. Sunrise should be here in about 20 minutes. Maybe we'll catch a good low light bite here. Water has a little tinge to it. It's kind of unusual for the winter. Must be some water running in. We're gonna be trying out this ice fishing rod from Amazon. It was the cheapest one I could find. I'm not saying it's the cheapest one there is, but it's right there. It's like 28 bucks, so not too bad. Rod reel combo. Made by everyone's favorite fishing company, Cluzinho. But, uh, yeah, I'll be talking a little more about this as we go. But first, let's try and catch a fish on it. It is a medium light 27 inch rod. Right, too much stuff in my. There might be some fish below me. Like, I'm getting some background because I got the gain cranked up so much. But I think, oh, yeah, those are fish. Those are fish. Right over top of him. Oh, 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 we might get one right here. Oh yeah, oh dang it, screwed it up. Oh, here we go. I mean, we're marking fish constantly. And they act like they've been fished a lot. They're finicky. Wow, look at that sunrise. That is awesome. This guy's gonna kill this. Oh my gosh, they won't stick. He's coming right back at it. There, he got him. First fish on the Plazino. I'm not sure he's gonna be a big one. Eh, he's not bad. It's a bold bluegill at least. It's a bold bluegill. I'd like to hook a big fish to, that would pull some drag, but let's test the drag. See, it's got a pretty smooth drag actually. Let's try a new hole. Here comes one, he's gonna slam it. One on it right away, yep, that didn't take long. New hole, and the drag up. Ooh, this is a bigger fish. Ooh, what is this? Bigger fish here. We're getting to test out the drag on the, oh boy. What is this? Oh, that might be a nice bass. Oh yeah! Oh shoot, man. Look at that. Holy crap. That's a nice bass, my goodness. All right. We got to test out the Blazino fishing rod. That is pound and a half, two pound bass, but compared to what we've been getting, that is a nice one. Here he goes. Wow, he just shot right up and munched it. That was really cool. Like I said, last time I fished this pond, it was about two years ago. And there were, there, I knew there were bass, but they were all in little dinks. But that guy obviously has been eating well, been growing. Oh, he wants to come up and get it. it looks like a decent mark. He is fired up for it, it seems. Got him. Feels a little better than a dink. Oh yeah, this is something. This might be a bass. Oh, big crappie, heck yeah. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice crappie. 12 and a half inch, 12, 12 and a half inch. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go, nice crappie. We had to work for him, but heck yeah.
schauen. Another crappie, I think. Nope, trout. <laughs> nice trout. Oh, crap. <laughs> Got bit pretty aggressively. <sighs> We're gonna keep him. Another one right on it. Come on, he's right with it. This might be another trout. It's something good. Come on. Got him. Feels okay. Oh crap, he pulled off. Dang it, that was probably another trout. Nice big mark. Similar attitude to the last one. This guy's right on me. I think it's a trout. He's really, really finicky. Got him, finally. Yep, another trout. Sweet. Trout are coming in today. <clears throat> Here we go. Might be eating good tonight. I think there's the trout have kind of found me here. <clears throat> Looking for me. Where am I at? Oh, there's another fish. Must be another trout. Yes, we're on the trout. Oh no! Ah, I got away. Crap. I snagged myself too. Seems like there's a whole bunch of trout down there and the spoon's really calling them in. I'm surprised they don't go hit the set line. There's a fish up high. Seen a lot of different things here. They're down there looking for it. Be another trout. Yep, another trout. They're all just sitting down there, aren't they? All right, gonna be eating good tonight. Okay, everybody, so there it was. Um, we tested out this 27 inch medium light uh, fishing rod, rod reel combo, which was $28, which is a pretty good price point for such a nice rod and such a nice reel. As I showed, um, there's a pretty soft tip, it's pretty sensitive. It's got a nice backbone, it, 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 although the tip is soft, it loads up really quickly so you can actually fight a bigger fish with this. The drag on the reel is actually pretty smooth. Usually when you get a, a rod reel combo at this price point, you're going to get a, a reel that's complete crap, but the reel is actually pretty nice. Um, and the, the, I find the drag to be actually be pretty smooth. So the point of this video was to show you that with some budget equipment and only a little bit of time before work, you can go out to some of these urban ponds and you can actually catch some good fish with some pretty cheap equipment and have a good time. I think that's what we did here. We caught a nice bass, nice crappie. We caught some trout, um, tried out some different ponds. I, I, I would highly recommend this rod for anybody who's in the market for a cheap combo. Um, it will get the job done as I showed here. I'm going to continue to use it. There's a few others in this price point, um, including some by 13 Fishing that I really want to try out. and. Uh, in some of my later videos, I'm going to be testing those out as well. Okay, so thanks for watching Backwards Angling. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.